Today, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell delivered his annual State of the City speech. Homicide recently hit an all-time high, and overdoses are up. But Mayor Harrell emphasizes that Seattle is getting better. As Fox 13's Lauren Donovan reports, it's been a year since his last address. Has he made progress towards revitalizing the city's struggling downtown core like he said he would? He stood at the podium confident, telling a crowd of more than 100, I have made good on my promises from 2023, and I've got the stats, the evidence to prove it. That said, the mayor did also acknowledge some stains, some shortfalls from the past year. Among them, the record high homicide rate we just saw, as well as ongoing issues with the troubled KCRHA. And the King County Regional Homelessness Authority has taken steps forward. But indeed, there have also been bumps along the road. Addressing shortfalls, Mayor Bruce Harrell called for greater oversight and accountability from this problem-prone agency. But in the next breath, points to progress in the fight against chronic homelessness. We've increased shelter referrals by 83%. Saying there's less than half the tents and structures on our sidewalks as compared to when he first took office. So we did the hard work. We brought together law enforcement, service providers, outreach workers. We developed a, a drug use ordinance rooted in both accountability and a connection to services to get well. Contrary to his praise, law enforcement has criticized the accountability element of that ordinance, arguing with current booking restrictions at the King County Jail, chronic users who refuse services face zero consequences. Last year, overall crime fell 7%, major crime fell 6%, and property crime fell 10%. However, homicides and the damage inflicted from gun violence have increased. We have to change this. Tuesday afternoon at Seattle's Museum of History and Industry. Within these walls live an excellent narrative of where we've been. Surrounded by symbols of the past, Mayor Bruce Harrell shared his ambitious vision for the future. The state of our city, if one was to ask us, I would describe it as being persistent. Let's reflect. This same time last year, the mayor's annual address came on the heels of Amazon's announcement. Workers were returning to the office. A centerpiece of his speech was revitalizing downtown. So how's he done there? The mayor points to graffiti abatement, cleaning up 100,000 square feet citywide. Hotel occupancy is up, visitation too, and the World Cup is on the way. But it appears his work in that realm is far from done. We believe that now is the time to create an urban development vision for a new kind of neighborhood running south of Columbia, north of Holgate, east to Little Saigon, west to Pier 48. He promises his office is working on several major projects within that footprint, increasing the number of people living downtown and boosting their access to amenities like grocery stores in what's often considered a food desert. New kinds of housing across the city and brings missing middle housing to every neighborhood and expands density citywide. And to that avail, within the next month, he'll introduce new legislation, cutting back on red tape that's stalling builders and architects. My housing agenda will create opportunities for new generational wealth, simplified nearly 300 separate zoning categories. Sweet music to the ears of local developers. To transform underutilized office space into residential uses and other uses. Reporting in Seattle, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.